Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another intriguing episode of True Crime. Today we're delving into a dark chapter in American criminal justice history, the infamous case of the West Memphis Three. This captivating tale involves the wrongful conviction of three teenagers for a crime that shocked the nation. I'm your host, and together, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding Damien Eccles, Jason Baldwin, and Jesse Miss Kelly. But before we dive into the details, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to explore the twists and turns of this gripping story. Our story begins in West Memphis, Arkansas in 1993, when the bodies of three eight-year-old boys were discovered in Robin Hood Hills. The victims, Stevie Branch, Michael Moore, and Christopher Byers, had been brutally murdered, sparking shockwaves through the tight-knit community. As the investigation unfolded, suspicion fell on three local teenagers, Damien Eccles, Jason Baldwin, and Jesse Miss Kelly. The prosecution's case was fueled by allegations of satanic rituals, as the three young men were perceived as outsiders with an interest in the occult. The trial that followed was marked by flawed legal proceedings, including coerced confessions, questionable evidence, and a climate of hysteria surrounding satanic panic. Despite a lack of concrete proof, the West Memphis Three were convicted in 1994, with Damien Eccles receiving the death penalty. As the years passed, the case of the West Memphis Three garnered widespread attention, attracting the support of celebrities, activists, and legal experts. Advocacy groups like the Innocence Project joined the fight, pointing to the flawed trial and pushing for a re-examination of the evidence. In 2007, new DNA evidence emerged, shedding light on potential alternate suspects and casting doubt on the guilt of Eccles, Baldwin, and Miss Kelly. This pivotal revelation sparked a renewed effort to overturn the convictions and bring justice to the wrongfully accused. The legal battle intensified, leading to a groundbreaking development in 2011. The West Memphis Three struck a deal known as the Alford Plea, allowing them to maintain their innocence while acknowledging that there was enough evidence for a conviction. Following their release, the West Memphis Three faced the daunting task of rebuilding their lives after spending nearly two decades behind bars. The struggle for exoneration did not end with their release, as the legal system posed new challenges, and the scars of wrongful imprisonment lingered. While the West Memphis Three regained their freedom, questions about the true identity of the killer or killers remain unanswered. The case continues to captivate the public, leaving many to wonder about the elusive truth that may never fully come to light. The story of the West Memphis Three leaves a lasting legacy, prompting reflections on the flaws within the criminal justice system. It serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of rushed judgments, media sensationalism, and the societal pressures that can lead to miscarriages of justice. As we conclude this exploration into the West Memphis Three case, it's essential to reflect on the broader implications it holds for the ongoing pursuit of justice and the need for systemic reforms to prevent similar injustices from occurring in the future. And there you have it, the complex and controversial tale of the West Memphis Three, a case that continues to raise questions about the integrity of our legal system. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe for more in-depth explorations into fascinating true crime stories. Thank you for joining us today on Chilling Shadows Studio. Remember, the pursuit of justice is an ongoing journey, and it's crucial to stay informed and engaged. Until next time, stay curious, stay vigilant, and stay tuned for our next gripping episode.